In 2020, 11 LGBTQ plus lawmakers were elected to U.S. Congress, the highest number in United States history. Their service acts as an inspiration to generations of people and reminds us of the pioneering bravery of America's first openly gay elected official, Harvey Milk, who was assassinated in 1978. When Harvey Milk was born in Long Island, New York in 1930, homosexuality was illegal across much of the United States and was so for decades to come. Having joined the U.S. Navy after college, he served until 1955, when he was given an other-than-honorable discharge as rumors of his sexuality began to circulate. By the 1970s, he was an established business owner in San Francisco, California, an area where he was able to live openly as a gay man. Determined to represent and safeguard the rights of LGBTQ plus Americans in government, Milk ran for a position on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors three times and was defeated twice. But in 1977, he made history by winning a seat on the City County Board, a landmark moment for LGBTQ plus visibility in the U.S. He used his platform to campaign for an ambitious reform agenda, including protecting gay rights and improved community policing. But when California Senator John Briggs put forward a new law, known as Proposition 6, to legalize firing teachers because of their sexual orientation, Milk spearheaded a statewide campaign against it, even debating against Briggs on television. The initiative was ultimately defeated by over a million and a half votes. It was a huge success for Milk, whose reputation as an organizer and public speaker gained widespread attention, but it also made him a target. On November 27, 1978, former member of the Board of Supervisors, Dan White, entered City Hall and made his way to the mayor's office and opened fire. Then, he walked down the hall in search of milk, murdering both men and shocking the nation. In 2021, the first U.S. Navy ship named for an openly gay person was launched. Today, his legacy as a visionary government official continues to open doors for generations of new leaders. What impact has Harvey Milk's legacy had on all communities of the U.S. today?